I'm saying if you Brilliant. can't be asked to vote, why should we be asked to listen to your political point of view? You don't have to listen to my political point of view, but it's not uh, that I'm not voting out of apathy. I'm not voting out of absolute indifference and weariness and exhaustion from the lies, treachery, deceit of the political class that has been going on for generations now and which has now reached fever pitch where we have a disenfranchised, disillusioned, despondent underclass that are not being represented by that political system. I'm having a go at you because you want a revolution. Many Good. people want a revolution, but I'm asking you what it will be like. Well, I think what it won't be like is a huge disparity between rich and poor, where 300 Americans have the same amount of wealth as the 85 bill million poorest Americans, where there is a, an exploited and underserved underclass that are being continually ignored, where, where welfare is slashed while Cameron and Osborne go to court to defend the rights of bankers to continue receiving to their bonuses talk vaguely about revolution. What is it? I think a socialist egalitarian system based on the massive redistribution of wealth, heavy taxation of corporations and massive responsibility for uh, energy companies and any company that's in sport exploiting the environment, I think they should be, ta I think the very concept of profit should be hugely reduced. Mate, I, I, well, this is what I noticed when I was in the Houses of Parliament. It's decorated exactly the same as Eton. It's decorated exactly the same as Oxford. So a certain type of people goes in there and thinks, oh, this makes me nervous. And another type of people go in there and go, this is how it should be. And I think that's got to change now. We can no longer have erroneous, duplicitous systems held in place unless it's for the serve, only systems that serve the planet and serve the population of the planet can be allowed to survive. Not ones that serve elites, be they a political or corporate elites. And this is what's currently happening. The time is now. These movements are already occurring. It's happening everywhere. We're in a time where communication is instantaneous and there are communities all over the world. The Occupy movement made a difference in, even if only in that it introduced to the popular public lexicon the idea of the 1% versus the 99%. People for the first time in a generation are aware of massive corporate and economic exploitation. These things are not nonsense and these are subjects are not being addressed. Do you see any hope? Remember that? Yeah, totally. There's going to be a revolution. It's totally going to happen. I, think not, not only, I, I ain't got a flicker of doubt. This is the end.